this kind of just looks like a cool house. Yeah. But it's more than that. It's more than that. This is this is basically the first permitted 3D printed house in the United States. Evan Loomis co-founded Icon. It's a startup focused on new ways to build homes. Safe to say, this is not your typical construction site. The print time on this house was about 48 hours. What is New Story? New Story is a nonprofit that builds homes and community of homes uh, throughout the developing world. And this is Brett Hagler, whose latest project brings homes to communities of El Salvador. Together, they've teamed up to start producing these in bulk for the people who need it most. Uh, this is a 3D printed house, um, and we're doing it so that we can significantly cut costs, increase speed, and do better quality. Can we go inside? Yeah, let's do it. Modest in size, but large enough, Hagler says, for a small family. And this would be like a master bedroom where the parents will live. This prototype had a price tag of about 10 grand, but once they perfect the process, they say they can do it for only $4,000. If you're coming from a tent or a shack and you move into this, it's a significant life-changing difference. One thing stands out, the textured walls, and that's due to the layers of cement. Eventually, they say this machine can print out a home like this in just 12 hours. This is crazy. <laughs> People, you would live here. I could right? totally see exactly. myself living here. Tell me a little bit more about the need for housing like this around the world. Yeah, it's a monumental challenge. You know, it's a little overwhelming. There's about a billion people that don't have one of life's most basic human needs, shelter, right? And we believe that in order to make a dent in that number, we have to come up with new solutions. It could revolutionize how we build shelter. What are we standing in front of? We're standing in front of a uh, gigantic robotic printer and Loomis says they're even working on solutions to problems that you might say are out of this world. It could be a really great solution for making space habitations a lot more achievable. Reporting in Austin, Texas, I'm Chris Welch.